Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Jamal. Don't bring out the nine. How does this get to 2,000? 2,000 fucking views. What? Who watches this fucking trash? Who wants to watch these videos? My videos fucking suck. Why do people want? Why do people want to watch this? Why is it good? We're at 450 subs. What the? F Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Salty Channel. What an amazing opening. But I know in this video I'm gonna be talking about the same thing I talked about in my last video. <laughs> creep show art because there are certain things that i did not talk about in points that people in the comment section suggested to me and i was like why didn't i think of that so i thought i'd combine this in this video with some new stuff that came out with emily artful if you don't know who that is i'm gonna encourage you to go check out their channel it's linked in description i used to watch a ton of their story time videos it was amazing but i'll get more on that later for now i just want to say thank you all so much for the last video's performance it did fantastic and we literally got 60 subs in like less than a day in the first like 18 hours it got 1000 views so literally thank you so much for that and to all the new salt shakers coming around welcome everybody i'm sure you're gonna enjoy this channel and if not then i'm sorry i mean i'm not surprised but i hope you enjoy this channel but aside from all of my you know gratitude towards you all and i just want to go through the screen and give you a big old smooth aside from all of that i should get onto the topic at hand which is creep show art now you may be thinking if this is your first video of mine that you've watched who is creep show art and why are you talking about them today now if you don't know why i'm talking about them today i'd encourage you to go watch my last video where i sort of give a basis and then you know respond to some of the stuff and creep show art is an art commentator with over 500,000 subscribers now less than because of this recent drama but the tiny synopsis is basically over the past three years shannon has allegedly been using this lol cow account to talk shit about her friends behind their back dox her sister be transphobic and a lot of other lies and recently as of recently i mean literally uh, during like my last video shannon tried to respond and say that she was hacked. Which if that is not the most bullshit excuse that I've ever seen in my entire life, then I do not know what is. And a point I brought up in that video, if you were hacked, why did the person only go to lolcow? Why didn't they go to your channel and talk shit about your friends? That would ruin your public reputation and you wouldn't have any way to defend yourself. So why would a hacker just use lolcow on your IP? That makes no sense. But if you'd like more context on that argument, go check out my last video and others videos that I linked in the description of that video. Because they're probably a lot better than mine. But today we're talking about something a little bit different still same drama but recently someone else has come out about the experience with shannon and you know another testimony added on to the thousands and thousands of piles of testimony and one of the testimonies even being shannon herself responding like an idiot you know it's just like troglodytes on, like these on the internet that think they can get away with stuff because oh it was hot but anyways i keep ranting off topic and you guys have probably already left by now but it's all right back to the topic at hand by my personal opinion i think shannon should respond pretty soon or apologize for these acts if they are you know proven true because it, you can't just pull an idubs with this one you can just wait two weeks to respond because this isn't just like a harmless thing like idubs you know being a cuck i don't know why i keep referring to idubs again <laughs> but this is stuff that's like actually getting people angered so it's something that you can't just wait out the storm with so it'd be preferable for shannon to respond quickly as quickly as possible at that but again i keep going off topic i'm here to talk about emily artful a good youtuber and a trustable one at that again i used to love her sketchbook story times they were fantastic but recently she came out with a statement on twitter about creep show art and a lengthy thread about it which i will be reading off pretty soon basically these posts describe how things that creep show art did to emily artful she passed off as her own story and where she's the victim and then you know post that on her youtube channel for profitary for monetary gain excuse me jesus christ <laughs> Work. So basically taking someone else's story in which you were the non-victim, you were the person, you know, doing the wrong thing, and then trying twisting it, making it into you're the victim, and then have someone else be the bad, 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 bad person. And then portray that on your YouTube channel for monetary gain. It's kind of scummy, and by kind of scummy, I mean very scummy. I don't think I need to spell that out for you, though. I can I swear you've already come to the deduction that, hey... Shannon's kind of a dick for that, but I will read off the post now. This just needs to be said. This woman has tormented me for years and years. I know her because my ex-boyfriend dated her after me. I moved on, but she slash they continued to harass and stalk me. I am currently shaking and crying because Creepshow Art is finally being exposed for the absolute terrible person she is. I have known Shannon for many years, even years before she started YouTube, her YouTube channel. She has copied, stalked, harassed, and threatened me and my children's lives. Lives. She is literally wait, excuse me. She has literally used revenge porn against me. 
Wait, what the fuck? Hold on, first of all, what the fuck? Revenge porn. But am I reading this correctly? Am I fuck? I'm sorry. Well, hold on. Give me a minute. She has used revenge porn against me and tried to use my drug against addiction against me. She's literally got me fired from multiple jobs, causing me to be homeless. This person has pushed me to the brink of suicide multiple times and then tried to blame it on a mutual friend when I finally caught her red-handed by tracing her IP. Shannon, you are Amy. All the things you claimed Amy did to you, did to you are the things you did to me receipts to come i've got years worth of them apologies for the uh for the little the little reading mistake midway through but look at this claim the fact that every story that shannon has told on her channel to this gravity or degree has been stolen from emily artful in the sense that shannon dunn did it herself and then tried to make herself the victim publicly against someone who is non-fictional isn't that just a bible and a half to try and explain i i don't even know how how to say shut the fuck i don't even know how i can explain it in a format where holy sh i don't even know how i can explain it in a format shut i don't even know how i can explain it in a format that's you know optimal for you guys to understand it it's just it's hard it's hard to explain M more on to this thread the fact that she's saying her stalker did all of this to frame her is fucking hilarious because she has literally be literally been f making fake emily artful accounts all over the internet for years to try and cancel me over the most random shit what's even more fucked up is that she'd fabricate this drama and then make a stock puppet accounts posting as the viewer concerned and then would send me the screenshots that she took when the first- SHUT THE fu- Okay, sorry, someone's fucking texting me while I'm trying to record this As a viewer concerned, and then would send me the screenshots that she took when she first started out doing YouTube, she would deliberately copy my thumbnails or titles. The message under a sock puppet account saying, OMG, Creepshow Art is copying you, egging me on to attack her. But guess what? I never did. I very politely asked her to maybe change her title, but also said it's her channel and she can do whatever she wants with it. She was very nice in response and agreed to change it. Mind you, I still had no idea who she was at this point. And then, I guess, she went to LolCloud to claim that Emily Artful is bullying small creators was zero proof because, as I said, I was very polite. Then she screenshotted that post and sent it to me under another sock puppet. I didn't put two and two together for a long time. Now these receipts, sh now these receipts should be coming soon, sorry. And when they do, I'll probably be here to make a video on that, updating you all about it. I know it's gonna get dry and boring of me making three creep show art videos in a row but i'm sorry i'm here to entertain and inform but now a youtuber who has been friends with creep show art for years and years on end comes out about it in this much detail you would know i'm gonna fucking believe her all right I make, look at all the lines look at the dots and you can just connect them all you can put like emily said two and two together but you can do it in a short amount of time in this time because there's so much evidence to prove the fact that shannon is literally running this lol cow talking you shit about her friends being transphobic making sock puppet accounts to harass emily artful like who knows what else shannon's gonna fucking get exposed for ransacking a farm or some shit because i'm telling you nothing about shannon's personality is coming out to be actual real and again in my last video i said that having a youtube persona isn't necessarily a bad thing i mean i kind of do but this is just pushing the boundaries of that by a long shot because now it's sort of a now it's sort of seeming like a mask like, this is fake mask of kindness and, you know, all of this good, goody, goody, goody two-shoes, excuse me, stuff, while doing this behind everyone's backs inside of closed doors. And I feel so bad for Emily because none of us realize this any sooner. She's literally shaking and crying over this entire situation because she's finally getting the justice, I guess you could say. I'm not really a death note here, but the justice that she deserved for the exploitation of the things that sh creep show sh art has done to her. It's really fucked up and I'm really pissed off. I know you can't tell by my tone of voice, but it's it's really annoying just to have all these things coming out and then Shannon's career is just all crumbling down to the ground. I mean, if these come out to be true, then I mean, it's a good thing that they went all come crumbling to the ground because... I mean, if they're true, then Shannon deserves it. And all the signs are qu sort of pointing towards with a big f***ing pogo stick that, hey, Shannon, Shannon might have done it. But, oh, I wanted to check something quite interesting that I saw in the replies earlier today. And by earlier today, I meant hours ago before I made this video because it is like 9 o'clock. Because I don't know how to make videos before nighttime. That's why this video isn't out today and it's out tomorrow. Because I, I need to be in a certain mood to make a video. A certain 
neighbor and parent waking mood. But anyways, back to the back to the reply. Now in this reply, someone showed a Instagram story from Creepshow Art that stated that she was going to take this into a legal matter in court, which flabbergasted me most of all. I will read it off now. When I say I'm handling this legally, I mean I'm handling this legally. I am most likely not going to post until I can prove that a shadow of a doubt that I, what occurred was not my doing. So I guess this is goodbye until then. For those asking if I'm okay, no, I'm not. Everyone close to me is now confused as to what my moral character is. I've seen posts from people I've supported in a dark ass times saying that I always knew something was wrong with her. I'm realizing more and more a lot of what I thought were friendships were not shit like this fundamentally changes you and I'm going to deal with this by myself. See you soon. Now, as a matter of fact, you may disagree. I love this story. It's a very good way to respond. And by that, I'm I'm lying. I don't love it. The only part that I did, you know, process in my smooth brain as decent is the fact that eventually she's going to respond. Which that I mean, this warrants a response immediately, but it's not necessarily a thing that we can really change. Something I want to change, but I can't really change a stubborn person's opinion now, can I? Oh my god, and I find it so ironic how people agreeing with the public opinion is 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 being a backstabber i really don't understand what shannon's mindset here is when people saying oh i always knew there was something a bit off about this girl um that just means they were right or at least likely right i mean again all the signs are pointing towards it, shannon and you should probably respond soon instead of pulling an eye dubs and again i find it ironic calling someone else a backstabber and saying like oh they're da, 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 seeing friends talk about me like this that i thought were friends we're not just gonna talk about how you talked about d'angelo lawless ready to glare and erwin or eric or something i'm sorry i forgot his name i can't remember if it's erwin or eric behind their backs which most of with with, with which, which all of those people are your friends. So the irony radiating off of this is hilarious, in my opinion. Now, not to only talk about irony here for a second, I also want to bring up something that a user that posted in my comment section on my last video, which again, thank you for the interaction. That was so amazing, and I felt so happy. So thank you guys for, you know, blowing the shit out of that video. But this person, I'll put their comment on screen, go, 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 go give them some love, made a really good point that I think we should all know, so I'm going to read out the comment here. Lamont. Now, creep show art accused hopeless pages of backstabbing friends and now she's being exposed for doing the same thing. Hey, do you smell that? It's a f***ing irony. Not only is this person hilarious in their delivery of this, it's a fantastic point that I think we should all take into account, especially with Emily Artful coming out about it. Now, if you want to make the uh, argument that, well, she has no proof, one, Emily will be coming out with receipts apparently very soon, and even while I'm recording this video, it may have already happened and I am unaware and I will make a follow-up video, don't worry about it. What evidence does Shannon really have that her channel got hacked, she got IP spoofed, all of this shit happened random. Oh, and it was just a coincidence that she did all those things to Emily Artful and then put those things on their channel as her own story. Yeah, bro. Kinda sus. Kinda sus. Mega ultra sussy. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I was watching some arcade craniacs today. But with this Emily Artful co stuff coming out, it leads me more to that Shannon is in the wrong. But I can't really say for sure until Shannon responds. I believe that's a mind shit. Mind. <laughs> a mindset that we should all share in the situation we should obviously wait until shannon responds but again i want to publicize the information that's already been publicized but i'd like to share it to an audience while trying to attend entertain people along the way so i hopefully shannon responds soon so that we can we can either dissect that or we can agree with it and go back on our wrongdoing but again that's just a theory Okay. No, but in all seriousness, thank you for watching. Uh, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, it would really help me and motivate me to make more content. And if we could get to 500 subscribers by the end of June, it would mean the world to me because then it'd be halfway through the year and halfway to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, I'm pl I really want to hit that by the end of the year. So you subscribing would be meaning the world to me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you also enjoy the next one and the next one. Watch me for eternity. Never stop watching me. Have a constant 24-hour, 7-days-a-week cycle of my content. Bye.